Okay, so the other night I leave my study after a five hour epic Destiny gaming session. And I go to my wife and she's sitting on the couch. And she's got this look of horror on her face and she tells me that she's been looking over the Dimmy's catalogue. And she wants me to have a look at it too so I can admire all the fucked up models that she's seen. Now, I don't know if you guys know what Dimmies is, but Dimmies is like a discount clothing retailer here in Australia. And to give you an idea of the, the sort of social etiquette of what Dimmies is, it's next to the government assistance building. And then that's no sort of coincidence. That's the kind of demographic of the people that go there. Now, I, uh, I do realize the irony is not lost on me that I've neglected my wife to such an extent that she needs to look over Dimmy's catalogs online as a form of keeping herself entertained, but let's just move on from that. Now, I don't really want to, you know, put shit on people the way they look or anything like that, but uh, yeah, some of these models are, are pretty bad, and I think the Dimmy's have sort of done weird things on purpose to them and you'll see what I mean in a moment so let's just look at this first one and just Jesus holy fuck what have they done to this poor fucking woman I mean look at it it looks like a 20 year old woman that somehow has been left out in the sun for 40 years and and she's got a she's got a hairdo that I would give my three-year-old daughter like on the way out of the house if we're in a hurry to go somewhere and I didn't give a shit about who we're seeing or something like that. I mean, I I, I see this picture and I feel nothing but pity for this poor lady. I, I can't tell how old she is. I don't know anything. Uh, I feel like they've got her locked up in the Dimmy's basement and they just wheel her out once every 12 months. Bring out Igor! Bring out Igor for a 12 monthly photo shoot. And they bloody wheel the poor bitch out and they take the photos of her and they probably whack her a few times with a bag full of soap or some shit and they wheel her back when they're done with her. God, it's horrifying. I, I know why this picture upsets me so much. I think it upsets me because it, it confuses me. It's like I've watched a, a three hour foreign film in different language that I didn't understand. I just don't understand why this picture is like this. Why did they get this this lady to do these pictures? This, uh, why they age her? I don't understand any of this. And then she's got this bloody satanic shit eating grin spread across her face like she's she's looking at you and she's judging you for looking at the shitty Dimmy's catalogue. Like fuck me lady, give me a break. Okay, so let's go to the next photo here. All right. Now, straight off the bat, I can tell you these three people have never been in the same room ever. They've never met each other. They don't know who each other are. They're supposed to be a family, but they're not. And Jesus fucking Christ, look at this kid. What the fuck? It's like they've, they've cut the head off of a four-year-old and slapped it onto a 12-year-old's body. Why would they do this? Clearly, Dimmies don't give a shit about what their models look like. Why would they? Why would they rip this kid's head off? The parents look really pleased about their Frankenstein child here. Hey, uh, this is my son. <laughs> check out my beautiful son. Yes, check out our beautiful son. Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> Feed me brains, daddy. All right. Well, let's have a look at the next model then. Oh, jeez, look at this poor fucking bastard. Doesn't he look thrilled to be here? Looks like he's being held at gunpoint, being forced to model this $4 an iron Dimmy's business shirt, which looks like it's made out of heavy plastics and asbestos. To be fair, though, if you iron this shirt, you and everyone in your street will probably get Hodgkin's lymphoma and your blood work will probably end up looking something like this. And next you just have sort of weird shit like this. It, you know, they just take in one photo and just like Photoshop different color shirts onto her because they couldn't be fucked getting her to change shirts and then take new pictures. It's like a new level of fucking laziness. And then if you go to the Dimmy's website, this guy's fucking cock is everywhere on this website. Now, I, I kind of admire them for the fact that they, you know, didn't get some buff dude and stuffed his jocks full of socks so he looks like he has a porn star package or anything. But Jesus Christ, I mean, I, I've seen this dude's dick like a dozen times, you know, collecting material for this video. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review of Dimmy's models.
little bit different from my typical Destiny videos, but fuck it. I thought it was funny.